Yo, what's up guys? My name is Sansworld and today we have a new sound design episode. We're going to be making a piano-ish type of a sound similar to the one in Don Diablo's new track. I forgot the name of it, Make My Window or, you know, I'm too lazy, so Make My Window. Uh, we're going to be using Spire for this. Spire, the holy grail of future house, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, it's, it's an amazing synth Spire. Um, Serum's out too, but I haven't done one for Spire in a while, so I thought let's do this one. Because this one also has the piano wavetables to create electric pianos that sound really good, which is what Don Diablo uses in this new track. Okay, so in Oscillator A1, we're going to use the piano A4. The reason we're using this one is because if you look at it, we're going to put the FM on. It's very, very, very mellow. And if you hear it, it has very sinus type of, you know, feel to it. What I mean by sinus is if you hear a sign, there's not that much harmonics. So you just hear like a, and then when you get low, it's like a sub. Um, this would pretty much work the same if I were to go at low enough. Sort of a subish. That's what I mean by that. Okay, so um, we're going to put a little bit of wave. Not that much. Now we're going to put control A all the way up because it's going to give us that raspy sound. And if we put it like around there. It's just half-assing it, in my opinion, so just go all the way up. Um, what that's going to do is, as you guys can see, it alters the wavetable tremendously, giving it more busyness. Now, Control-B is going to decide how fast the wavetable is going to be going at a rate, because FM synthesis is pretty much the controlment of pitch. Let's just put it that way. So, um, you know, in FM synthesis, you can mess around with the pitch a lot of something, and that's pretty much what FM synthesis is. Um, and if you... Um, Use the control B to put it up. What you're doing is you're increasing the f speed of the oscillator, how fast the the f the, the wavetable is, you know, moving. Um, so the higher we go in control B, you'll start to notice the higher pitch that we'll get. The reason for that is because higher pitch sounds um, are created by faster, you know, os frequency oscillator movement. So the faster the oscillator, the higher the pitch. In essence, the higher the frequency your sound is going to be playing at, and that's where FM is usually comes from. You know, that's what usually you're doing in FM synthesis. So that's why um, a lot of the times, that's why I tell you guys that sometimes having small monitors in a room is better than buying big ass ones when you're in a small room because the lower the frequency, the longer it takes to develop because lower frequencies tend to move slower. So by the time the, your sound wave hits the back of your wall and you're producing these low, low, low frequencies in the small room, that low frequency will never get a chance to develop by the time it hits your back wall. It will bounce back at you underdeveloped. It creates problems. That's why it's best to stick with smaller 5-inch speakers depending on the size of your room. If you have a big room, go ahead and get the big ones. Okay, so let's continue. So right now we have this. Cool, right? So we're going to put a filter straight away. Um, let's use the Scorpio ones because I feel like those are the nicest ones. I, I personally like them the best. We're going to use Red LP2. Um, in Envelope 3, the cutoff is already set there for us. And it should give us a sound. We're going to widen it a bit. And that sounds pretty cool. There we go. Okay, so once we're done with that one, in Oscillator 2, we're going to put Piano A1. Not Bass A1, but Piano A1. And we're going to, I think we're going to put a little bit of it, or maybe most of it. And then we can kind of control where the, the wavelength of it by using Control B. Now, we're going to move the phase a bit. What the phase does, it just decides the starting point of your wavetable. So just picture it as a starting point. Um, and that's pretty much the phase of something. Um, if you guys look in oscillators, if you guys look, um, we see this yellow orange line. That's where your wavetable is going to start. We want to get this higher pitched actually, because it's not giving us the sound we want. There we go. That's sounding way more like it. There we go. Now for oscillator three, we're going to make something sort of like a, a sine wave of it. So nothing too crazy. We're going to put a little bit of piano A1. We can choose another one as well. Um, The goal with this one is just to layer something like underneath everything so that it doesn't sound so plain in the lower frequencies. OK, 
Okay, once we have that, we'll add some reverb. Okay. Um, in envelope two, we're gonna do the pitch trick that I do for almost all my sounds. It's just doing this, moving the pitch up a little bit to give it punchiness. to oscillator 2 as well. Okay, cool. Um, X comp to compress it. There you have it. Okay, and then um, in LFO one we can put pitch 1 and we can also do a little bit of LFO to it at a fast rate to make it more raspy. And then pitch two. Now it's very minimal, um, but it does help. Once we have that, um, you guys can see we do have some parameters. We're not doing it to three because it's not that, yeah, you know, that's strong. Uh, LFOs maybe a tad bit less. Um, then from there, just mess with the reverb however you like. You know, you guys can do that. Um, and finally, um, after the X comp, you guys can put some EQ, a boost. Put the EQ on and just up the highs. Well, which will bring up the higher end more, which is what you want. Other than that, that's how you make it. So um, if you guys want this preset, you guys can go download it off the evilsounds.com page. It will be under the name of Evolution. Um, it will be under Sound Design Episode Something. The way you get to there is you go into the download section. You you put your mouse over the downloads. It will drop down a menu that says Sam World Tutorial Preset Downloads. You guys can download it there for free. Um, if you guys want to support me, you guys can always buy a sound bank. That's up to you guys um, if you guys desire them. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm going to call this something funny. And I'll see you guys next time.